So today I wanted to talk about how to conquer your wash and goes. And I'm so happy. I have a couple of wash and go videos. I'll probably make so many more. I get people asking me how I get my hair to look the way that it looks. I just kind of have forced myself to figure my hair out. So that's the number one thing I tell everyone. It's just kind of like someone who normally wears their hair straight. Wear your hair curly for a month. Wear your hair curly for a month straight and force yourself to learn how your hair likes, you know, products, how your hair likes you to sleep and what fabrics to use and how to tie your hair up at night. Like that's the way that I've learned my hair up until this point, just forcing myself to constantly experiment. And so experimenting with products is good, but I think the most important thing is to experiment with your technique. So, <laughs> I say so, so much. Just try it. See what is easiest and most convenient for you. If your wash and goes take a long time and you know that, do something else to figure out how. You really just have to troubleshoot. Keep your products the same. That's one thing that I test a product. I do my hair differently each time to kind of see how it reacts. Not so much anymore though because I know what products I like, I know how to do my hair, but I had to do that with products to figure out how to get there. So um, a lot of times I will pick one thing and focus on that one thing, like with finger detangling. I was finger detangling for a really long time. I still love finger detangling. Now I'm kind of back to a brush, but I had to figure out what kind of brush I wanted. So I got a bamboo brush. It doesn't have any seams on it. It's kind of like a paddle brush. It's really gentle, it doesn't absorb products. And normally I didn't used to like how my curl pattern would look when I would detangle it with the brush, but with the brush that I use now, I like the way it looks, so that's not a problem for me anymore. So that's helped my wash and goes because the thing about finger detangling, I would still feel like after a while, my hair wasn't detangled enough. Also, if you kind of notice that your hair has a tangle problem where it tangles up more than it used to. Look at the ends of your hair because I use a lot of heat on my hair so I have to really keep up with my ends. Keeping up with my trims and it's gonna be so hard for me to detangle and it's gonna take forever. It's gonna drive me nuts. Also, is your hair super thick? Is your hair super thin? What is the consistency of the products that you're using? Are you using so many products and you can't afford to use them all? That's one thing I just really felt like I don't want to have to buy an entire product line of like 37 products just to be able to do my hair, something that I'm doing quite often. I had just recently bought the Diva Curl, if you guys saw that video. So I bought that big bottle of conditioner. It's not a cheap product line, so I don't wanna have to use every single product. I've been doing this thing now where I'm not really using gel, except you know, like at the very top of my hair when it's soaking wet but I don't really put it you know, all the way throughout to see, will that help? Figure out what is your issue? I have very fine hair. Heavy products that weigh my hair down, but give me definition, aren't really the way to go for me. I've learned that if I use less, then I have more volume, which is what I wanted. You have to just kind of commit to getting your hair to look the way that you want. I kind of want that like, super easy bedhead type hair and I felt like I just had to figure out a way to get it and I've finally done that. So I tell a lot of my friends to just like give yourself one month. If one month is too big of a commitment, you know, seemingly then do one week. One week where you're not going to straighten your hair, you're going to wear it curly and then the next day you are forced to figure out, well, how am I going to sleep on my hair? So you try one thing. If you wake up that next morning and you don't really like it, try something else that next night and just keep experimenting. That's the way I learned how to do my makeup. That's the way I learned how to um, do my contour. To figure out how to contour and highlight my face, I literally got a photo of those face charts and they're like, contour your face this way if you have like a heart shape. And I'm just like, I don't know, I'm like an oval. I'm like a oval, but I don't look like that Snapchat filter. But you know, whatever. So I would take that face chart, contour my face differently every single day, and it, it took me that one week, and I figured out what I liked. And then I just 
do that. <laughs> so it's not as hard as it seems, but you really just have to put the effort. Figure out what you can do with what you have. If budget is an issue, because for a very long time, my money was inconsistent. I was just like intimidated with hair products and the prices of stuff because I didn't want to have to buy something that was expensive and then not be able to use it. And what if I run out of the conditioner and then I just have a whole bunch of gel? Or what if I run out of the styling product and my hair won't work because I need all three or four or five of these products at once to be able to get the results that I'm looking for? It's not true, but if you want to use a lot of products, go ahead and do it. <laughs> Start now, get your one month, Force yourself to wear your hair curly. See what you like. Do you feel like your hair is dry? What can you do to moisturize your hair? What's convenient for you? What do you define as moisture? Do you just mean that you want your hair to shine? You can buy products for your hair to shine. Shine, I think it makes it look artificial. I think it makes my hair kind of look like a really nice wig. So I'd rather go for the kind of low luster, just more natural. Yeah. You know, find people whose hair is similar to yours as well. My hair is very fine, so I was watching a lot of videos of people who have super thick hair and the things that work for them don't work for me. So figure out, are you a twist out person? Are you a wash and go person? You need to follow Jennifer Rose, NYC. I think that's her Instagram name. I'll post it on the screen. Um, she's Taryn's hairstylist. Everything that she says that I do, because I just trust her. She's not even my hairstylist, but she knows what she's talking about. Now that I use the Diva Curl, I don't use, I don't even use that gel anymore. It's still a good gel, but I really only use the conditioner. And I feel like if I bought that big old thing for $44 and I can, it's my conditioner, it's my leave-in, it's my styler, I can refresh my curls with that product. Let it air dry. Yeah, if you have questions, uh, leave me a comment below. I was trying to do this quick, how to figure out exactly how to get your hair to wash and go. I would say, after you've watched this video, watch my other wash and go videos. Watch everyone else's wash and go videos and see what techniques they're doing. Do a different person's technique every single time that you wash your hair because you don't want to wash your hair every single day. That's crazy. Don't do that. You're wasting product. Are you using too much product? Are you using too little? Just try to see like how much product can I use and get away with, like the least amount and still get the result that you want. You just kind of have to break it down into bite-sized pieces so it's not intimidating and you don't feel like a hot mess. If you have somewhere to go that's important, like an event, don't use that event as an experiment <laughs> for your hair. You know, use like the rest of the week. Like on the weekends, just do what you know looks good. So if I don't have enough time to refresh my hair for the week, I'm gonna just wear it like in a bun. I'm gonna gel my life down, pull it back, leave it alone. I'm not gonna all of a sudden, you know, take, you know, five, six hours and do like, oh, I'm gonna do a braid out. Cause it's not braid out well. My hair does not twist out well. It doesn't, you know, it's just not, it's just not her. So, Figure out what, what's up with this piece? Figure out what your hair likes. It's kind of like a skin routine. I have really sensitive skin. A lot of products break me out. A lot of products won't mix well together. You know, do things that are reasonable within your budget, have a schedule, and then have fun. Okay, bye guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back soon.